Nutty Sports Gamer here. This is episode 22 of my 40-year sim. And in this episode, we are in November 1986 of the 1987 season, which means that we are going to be seeing quite a bit of this young fella right here. Rookie Arvita Sabonis is going to be in this video. Chris Mullen as well, among others. But before we get into Sabonis and his rookie campaign, uh, we got uh, the Clippers who traded for Moses Malone in the offseason. Now, this was something that I concocted. It wasn't uh, something that really happened uh, in the league. But based on events that had transpired over the previous seasons in the sim, this, to me, made the most sense. Moses Malone on the Clippers, as well as Jamal Wilkes is on the Clippers now. 90 to 87, Clippers with the lead. Kamir Madul Jabbar gets a, a layup right there, cutting the deficit to one. Stolen pass. Magic Johnson gets the layup right there. And now the Lakers have a one point lead. There's four and a half minutes to go in the game. Mike Woodson with the pull up jumper, and the Clippers regain the lead. A scoring bug on the corner there is <laughs> kind of confusing. But you just need to know that the bottom one is the home team. And then we're good. Lakers regain the lead. Kareem makes that jump shot right there. Lakers now lead by three. Clippers. Most of with the rebound and the putback. And this is a pretty intense back and forth between the two Los Angeles teams. But Michael Cooper with the three-pointer right there. Making it 196. That could be the Dacker. Let's see. Darnell Valentine with the layup. Marquez Johnson draws the foul. Makes the first free throw. Misses the second free throw. And Kareem gets the rebound. A minute left to go in the game. Magic Johnson passes it to Burns Scott, but gets the ball back. He passes it to Byron Scott, who drains the J. Lakers get the ball back. James Worthy makes that shot. And that would be the end of this game. 104-99. The Los Angeles Lakers are still the kings. Of course they are. We know that. They made the finals how many years in a row? But the Clippers, they want to be true challengers. In this sim, at least... <laughs> With no uh, horrible owner in the way, they are at least trying. The Moses Malone had 20 and 13. I, I have a feeling that we'll be seeing some good Clippers games in the future. Uh, we'll see how things go with them as we move forward. But the Lakers look st as strong as ever, facing a tough opponent. And, uh, yeah, good game. We got 76ers versus the Bulls. Now, you know, we just saw Moses Malone on the Clippers. So the 76ers have an interesting look, a new look, 76ers in some ways. But the Bulls are the Bulls. And Michael Jordan makes that shot right there, making it 99-93 with just under three minutes up to go. Gene Banks with the bucket right there, cutting the deficit to four. Mo Cheeks draining the midi right there. Andrew Tony making his shot. 103.95, under two left to go. Michael Jordan driving the lane. Makes the bucket right there. Let's check out another replay of that. Smooth as butter. Andrew Tony though, with the long two. He misses it, but Sam Bowie, part of that Muslim loan trade, makes that shot. And the 76ers would go on to win this game. Andrew Tony with 20 points. World be free. We haven't we didn't see much of him in this game but we'll see him in a f in future games for sure uh he's definitely a, a key piece of this new look six sixers team sam Bowie contributed 17 17 10 mo cheeks dr j has some good stats as well michael jordan had 42 points george gervin 16 so uh now i wanted to show you the trades the trades i have there was a lot of trades i didn't show you in the last video i want to show you in this video so, uh, you know, in the draft, the Hawks got Cliff, uh, the Hawks traded Cliff Livingston to the Warriors. Uh, the Warriors traded Larry Smith and Curtis Lawson to the Rockets in exchange for a first round pick and a second round pick. 
Uh, and then in the off season, Sam Bowie, Sam Perkins. Their first round pick to Moses Malone. I added another first round pick to that trade. You'll see that a little later. Then there are some like small trades that actually happened in real life that I wanted to reflect, like uh, Larry Chris Kowiak um, being traded to the uh, Trailblazers. Spurs trading Steve Johnson for Michael Thompson. That was a real trade. Jack Sigma in two seconds for Randy Brewer. That was close to the real trade that happened between the Bucks and the Sonics in the 86 offseason. And then we have Dale Ellis being traded to the Sonics for Al Wood going to the Mavs. That also happened in uh, in real life. And then I, I had a little twist to that, uh, as you'll see in a, in a minute. Uh, Junior Bridgman and Kurt Nymphius got traded from the Clippers for Mike Woodson. That was close to the real trade. Larry Drew, I think, was also involved in that trade, but uh, I don't think it makes sense to put Larry Drew on the Clippers uh, in this sim at this point. Bulls traded Sidney Green for Earl Curitan. Jazz traded Andrew, Adrian Dantley for Kelly Dribuka and Manute Bull. Again, pretty much the same trade, but with a twist. Manute Bull was the twist. Clippers traded Cedric Maxwell for a first and a second and Curtis Lawson. Now, uh, Maxwell does eventually get traded to the, the Rockets. I, I did it a little earlier than, than, than it actually happened, but uh, it, it did happen. Jay Fenton to the Clippers. This uh, Jay Fenton, I think, ended up on the Sixers or the Bullets. I can't remember, but because it doesn't make any sense to put him on either of those teams at this point, I uh, traded him to the Clippers. And then Bulls traded Kyle Macy for a couple of seconds. Uh, that was a real trade to the Pacers. Fred Roberts to the Celtics, another real trade. John Long to the Supersonics, also really happened. So, uh, again, most of these really happened. Uh, just to make that clear. Uh, Daryl Daryl Walker for a first-round pick, that was a real trade. Uh, Orlando Woolrich to the to the Nets. Uh, Orlando Woolrich to end up on the Nets, but I had to do it on a tr via trade instead of a free agency pickup. Uh, we'll be free to the Sixers. That really happened. Bobby Jones did not get traded in real life to the Ca to the Cavs, but uh, in real life he retired after the season. So I figured, why not uh, give him a second life on the Cavs? So that is why I did that. But we'll be free. It was in the Sixers in the '87 season. So that is that is an actual thing that happened. Although he only played 20 games in real life. Clint Richardson gets got traded to the Trailblazers. I think that really happened? I can't remember exactly, but I know that he got traded from the Sixers that offseason. George Johnson uh, traded to the Bulls. I believe that was also a real real trade. I've been tr trading Randy Whitman around uh, with, and um, it's kind of funny. Kevin Willis and Junior Bridge went to the Hawks for Jay Humphreys in a first round pick. That was my invention. Uh, but the, Kevin Willis was actually on the Hawks during that season, so that part is true. Uh, Wes Matthews to the Lakers, that ha that pretty much happened like that. Charles, Charles Jones for Sam Vincent, I think they, I don't remember why I did that, but that happened. Knicks traded a first round, the Nuggets first round pick for Al Wood. That was the twist to the Al Wood trade, because uh, I don't think it makes sense for Al Wood to be on the Mavericks, because uh, they have Joe, du uh, Joe Dumars and Rolanda Blackman. So, but it makes more sense to put him on the Knicks. Spurs, uh, David Townsend's on the Spurs now, which he, he I think he retired at this point, so gave him a second life on the Spurs. Uh, Bulls traded Juwan Oldman, Oldham to the Supersonics. I think that really happened. I don't know why I would do that otherwise. But Terry Porter for Dar Darnell Valentine. A bit of a twist on Valentine going to the Clippers because um, Terry Porter was on the Blazer. He got tri drafted on by the Blazers in real life, but uh, I figured this was a good opportunity to put him on the Blazers. Uh, with the Valentine trade. So that's what I did. And then Jamal Wilkes to the Clippers. Wasn't a trade in real life, but uh, he got picked up in free agency in real life, and that, that just couldn't happen uh, in this sim. And then here, here's the rest of the trades. So, yeah, I mean, that pretty much gives you... There's a lot of trades. There was a lot of trades in real life, and then I, I, I threw in some extras. I hope I didn't go too crazy, but if, if for the most part, these are reflections of real trades or the actual trades that happen in real life so some little twists along the way some little inventions obviously the Muslim loan one is the craziest uh, invention by me but uh, I think it makes sense I think it works I think it also uh, makes the league more exciting I, 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 I'm into it I hope you guys don't think it was too fantastical 
uh, let me know if in, the, in the comments. But I, I, I stand by it. Kevin Willis makes that shot there. We are now watching the Hawks versus the Mavericks. James Donaldson makes that shot, tying the game at 101. Charles Barkley with a turnaround jumper. Well, not really a jumper, but he turned around. Derek Harper to James Donaldson. We're seeing a lot of James Donaldson in these highlights, which is pretty interesting. 105-104, less than two minutes left to go in the game. And Dominique with the alley-oop. The Hawks regain the lead. Mark Aguirre with the bucket. Dominique almost dunks it. I think he still made the shot. Um, is that Kevin Willis? No, that was Dominique Wilkins, the jumper. I should know that. Miss there for the Mavericks. Foul. Missed free throw. But if uh, Antoine Carr can make this one, uh, this game is pretty much out of reach. And, yeah, I believe that ends up being the case. Atlanta up by four, 111-107. And this was a curious choice by me to leave this in the video. Like, I edit these pretty quickly, and some things slip by me, <laughs> and this slipped by me. Uh, wow, I left all this in. Why? <laughs> Why did I do that? Maybe I need to actually stop this recording and cut this. I don't know why I, I left this in. This is really weird. Um, because even though I edit fast, I usually know what I'm doing. <laughs> I usually do, don't do this, I should say. Uh, Derek Harper makes that shot. 111, 109, 26 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Uh, huh. You know what? <laughs> Let me, uh, I'm going to stop recording for a minute all right i'm just gonna leave all that in i right, cut cutting to this free throw attempt laughing my incompetence everyone uh that was kind of silly of me to leave uh <laughs> leave that in there but uh hey dominic wilkins um had 28 points in this game johnny davis at 18 the hawks beat the mavericks a very good mavericks team with a lot of mavericks and double digits as well, Charles Barkley led the team in scoring. Derek Harper at 14 and 12. So we are moving on to Golden State versus the Houston Rockets. Want to see some Len Bias action if possible. Here's Purvis Short uh, pulling up for the J. It is 90 to 89. Always good to see Hakeem makes that shot there. Detlef Schramp. Don't really see him make buckets too often, so that's pretty nice. And... The Rockets make a shot. Olajuwon can't get that to fall. And Len Bias gets the rebound. Passes it to Short, who gets the dunk, cutting it to three. So there's a, a, a Len Bias assist, which is very nice to see. And then Bias with the dunk right there. So again, some Len Bias highlights. Ralph Sampson with the putback, making it 97-94. 30 seconds left to go now. And uh, Lucas makes that shot, cutting the deficit to one. The foul right there. Gus Williams makes that free throw and makes that one. And that would pretty much be the end. 103 96 is the final score. Here's a, yeah. I was going to say here's a highlight of the shrimp, but I cut away from that. I cut that, but I don't cut the other stuff. Doesn't make any sense. Gus Williams at 27 points. Purvis Short with 23. Len Bias at 14 uh, out of 713 shooting, which, interesting, he never had a free throw uh, in that game. But, uh, hey, all the more power to him. And now we have reached Arvidas Sabonis time. Everyone buckle up because this is going to be fun. Larry Drew first pulls up for a J. That's nice. And then we got Benoit Benjamin. Missing that shot, Arvidas Sabonis with the rebound, and the Kings are in transition. Chris Mullen, no, Craig Ello, <laughs> passing it to LaSalle Thompson. Arvidas Sabonis ends up with the ball, makes a shot as he falls down. 93-80 is the score. Moses Malone makes that shot, cutting the deficit to 11. 
9584 now. Arvidas a bonus against Benoit Benjamin. And Arvidas will make that bucket. Rookie, rookie Arvidas looks good. Moses Malone looks better, though, but he's a veteran, and he should look better. Arvidas, once again, makes that shot as he falls down again. He should stop doing that. He's like six foot four. He could get hurt. And then we get Moses Malone making that shot. Larry True missing. Arvidas with another putback. Doesn't fall down that time. 91-92. Let's see some Chris Mullen passing it to Arvidas a bonus. And yeah, we got plenty of Arvidas in this in, 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 in this particular game, so that's nice. 32 points for Moses Malone. And Arvidas only had 11 points. I think we saw every shot he made in that in that little uh, snippet there, so that's pretty interesting. And let's let's see if we can get more Len Bias. And we got John Stockton. John Stockton pulling up for a jumper. It's good. Stockton is looking really good this season. Purvis Short is also looking good. Making that shot right there. Here is a alley-oop. Uh, Len Bias making that shot right there. And then we got Stockton to Cliff Robinson, which is pretty nice. Stockton is looking smooth. His passing is looking crisp. His shot is looking really good. His shot is wet. You know? Purvis Short makes that shot, knifing through the defense. Len Bias. Nice pass to Levingston. Makes that bucket. Tie game at 20. John Stockton, though. The long two. It is good. And Stockton and the Bullets would go on to blow out the Warriors. 120-95. John Barry Carroll with 23. Len Bias with 10. Uh, he made some free throws this time around. John Stockton with 26 points and 12 assists. Jeff Malone with 22, and here's a shot of Len Bias. Check it out. I don't know if I should use this as a as a thumbnail, uh, but uh, in case I do, there it is. Arvidas a bonus gets a rebound and putback. We are now watching the Kings versus the Nuggets, and here we have Larry Drew missing that shot. LaSalle Thompson with the dunk right there. Tying the game at nine. As I scratch my self, <laughs> I scratch my ear. Okay, Alex English makes that shot. Chris Mullen. There's a Chris Mullen J. Chris Mullen jumper. Tying the game at eleven. Now we're skipping ahead. Seventy-one fifty-seven. And I think that was Wayne Cooper with that shot right there. Arvidas is a bonus with a little bit of an alley oop right there. Seventy-seven sixty-two. The Kings though. Wow, look at that lack of defense. Fat Lever able to just skate on by. Check this out. I mean, where's the defense? And uh, truth be told, this is the one video where you're going to see Reed as a bonus because later in the season, uh, the Kings turn out to be terrible as that little, as we saw, as we saw in that little clip, they play terrible defense. So. We might have another Sabonis game somewhere in this video. Maybe not. I don't know. But here's the Golden State Warriors versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Shot made there by Marquez Johnson. And uh, we'll see Sabonis in year two. But I don't know if we'll be seeing much more Ricky Sabonis in, 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 in this series, which I'm sad to say. Mike Woodson makes that shot right there, making the 83-82 game. Clippers now lead by one. Purvis Short with the jumper. And Purvis Short is looking really good. He's looking a lot of fun. Baseline jumper right there as well. Making it a one-point game. Clippers get the lead back. Now it's 90-87. Benjamin to Norm Nixon. And this is why I didn't put Larry Drew on the Clippers. Because Nixon to Marquez Johnson is good. Nixon, he's still good in this in this sim. And in real life, I think he was like pretty much washed. But he, he's not washed yet. 92-87. He's not washed yet in this sim. Marquez Johnson with a turnaround jumper, making it 94-87. And then we got Jamal Wilkes, now on the Clippers, making that shot, and that would pretty much do it. The Clippers would win 108-99. to Purvis Short with 23 points. Len Bias with only 8. We didn't really see any of Len Bias, and that might be it for Len Bias as well. I think we might go back to Len Bias in the future. I'm not sure. At least rookie Len Bias. When I say we might not go back, I just mean like the, during the rookie season because I have no idea what the 88 season holds 
And uh, actually, we might, we might just jump right back into uh, another... War nope, no, we don't. <laughs> I thought we were going to jump into a Warriors game. We don't. Uh, instead, Pacers Suns. I don't think Petrovic shows much in, the, in, 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 in this video. But uh, Reggie Diaz does. And he cuts the lead to 90... To, to, uh, cuts the deficit to 5, I should say. Shot made there for the Suns, making it a 7-point game. Carl Malone, who's the star of, of, of these particular highlights, makes that shot. Herb Williams makes that one, cutting the lead, cutting the deficit to 3. And it's Wat Watley? Watley? Misses that shot, but Brad Doherty uh, gets the putback. And, oh, yeah, Brad Doherty uh, was a pretty no notable rookie also. is also uh, That's why I'm showing these highlights because of Brad Doherty. Look at this long two, and that would do it. Uh, the Suns would go on to win the game, and I forgot to get the scoring meters uh, for that particular game, but that doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you some Brad Doherty, show you some Carl Malone, and I did that. So let's check out the box. We saw Brad Doherty in this video, and there it was. Uh, and it looks like he has some range, you know? He had a long two, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. And uh, do we see Bucks Sixers? Bucks are struggling. They're one in five at this point in the season. And let's see if we actually jump into a Bucks Sixers game. It's close. It's a close one. And it looks like we do. So 93 91, seven and a half minutes up to go in the game. And it looks like looks like Moncrief gets the layup right there. Moncrief receives the pass, makes that shot. Five point lead for the Bucks gets extended to seven right there. Dr. J missed that shot, but Michael Cage gets the put back. Sixers trying. Terry Cummings is saying, not a chance. He makes that. Will be free with an alley oop right there. There's Will be free in the Sixers. We'll be seeing uh, quite a bit of him in this season. Terry Cummings makes that shot right there. Moncrief looking good. Moncrief is looking as good as ever. And the Bucks would go on to win this game. 121 to 111. Will be free had 21 points off the bench. Andrew Tony had 13. He got fouled out, so I had to fix his foul tendencies because I don't like that. Terry Cummings had 43 points. It's not like uh, guys can never foul out, but uh, I had a feeling that his tendencies were high, and I, I was right. So I fixed that. Trailblazers versus the Washington Bullets. We got Paxson. Jim Paxson, who always shows up for these for these Sims. Whenever I whenever I play play a Blazers game, whenever I show a Blazers game, he always shows up. Kiki Vandeway also is showing up. 98 91. Stockton's got the ball. He is dangerous. Rulin is dangerous. And he makes that that uh, hook shot. Threat or three? Three or threat? I don't know what his last name is pronounced. John Stockton. Makes that bucket. Check out this replay of John Stockton. I mean, he's looking really sharp this season. Star-making season here for John Stockton. And here he is with the baseline jumper. And it's a tie game, by the way. And now it's uh, 101.99. Bullets winning. Jim Paxson makes that bucket to tie the game up. I think that's John Stockton missing that shot. Robinson with the putback. 103-101. And we got Threat making that shot. 105-101 for the Bullets. Kiki Vandeweghe gets some rebound. Makes that shot right there. So this game is not quite over. But I think they do foul here, don't they? It's way too early to foul. Why would you? I don't even know why you would foul. I don't know. It's only a two-point game. But uh, now it's not a two-point game. Now it's a four-point game. Because John Stockton is automatic on the free throw line. And that would be it. For this game, the Bullets go on to win. And check out uh, those shots. As we see, John Stockton had 23 points and 7 assists. Jeff Malone had 20. It's nice to see Stockton really aggressive. He wasn't aggressive from what I saw during his rookie year. And the the, the leaps he's taken in this sim is, is, is something to see. Jim Paxson led the Blazers in scoring that game. And we might move on to Nuggets Sixers. Let's see if we can check out Fat Lee, Ren Alex English versus uh, Dr. J and uh, Andrew Tony. Looking like this might be a game worth looking at. We are in Denver. As I think that's Alex English makes that shot right there. Sam Perkins gets a put back there. 
Cutting deficit to four. English makes that one. Andrew, Tony, Tony, Tony. It's a shot clock. Winds down. Misses that shot. But Bowie gets the rebound and the bucket. Tony, though, gets a shot right there to fall. And here comes Alex English with the dunk. 102.98. Dr. J makes that one. He's still got a jump shot. Nuggets make a bucket there and here to make it 106-100. Alex English with another shot right there. And an alley-oop. An alley-oop to Dr. J. <laughs> He's like 37 at this point. Still cool to see. And then English with that jumper there. Alex, look, Alex English looking really sharp. Bowie makes that bucket. 111-104 at this point And the game. Alex English um, is going to put this game away. And there it is. The Nuggets win this game at home. 112-104 is the final score. And uh, Alex English had 36 points. Nat had 17. Daryl Walker had 15. Issel the Missile had 13. Fat Lever had 13 and 11. Fat Lever, you know. <laughs> Pretty good player, right? Pretty good player in the 80s uh, that we don't really ever talk about, but he, we talk about him now. Uh, Bulls, Jazz, I did want to jump into some Bulls. Um, because Michael Jordan. <laughs> I mean, why else, right? Michael Jordan and George Gervin, by the way. Michael Jordan with the long two right there. Making it a 10-point game as a toy. Plays in the background. Good Lord. Are you serious? As a children's toy plays in the background of my video, which I don't have time to cut. John Drew makes that shot. 97-91. And... Gene Banks with the jumper there. Eight point game. Jim, no, John Paxson misses that shot. But Artist Gilmore is going to get that get that uh, put back right there. 101 93 now. I think that was George Gervin. He uh, he gets a bucket there. And the final score will be 110 99. Whew. Daryl Griffith with 20 points. <laughs> a lot was going on while I was talking about the Bulls versus Jazz. 20 points for Griffith. Drew had 14. Tripica had 13. Williams had 12. Manute Bull, who we can't seem to see Manute Bull ever. Uh, I'll tr you know, it's tough to know when the bench guys show up. And it doesn't really make sense to start him over uh, Eaton, Mark Eaton. So that is why we haven't really seen Manute Bull at all. Michael Jordan had 32 points. And that would be that. Let's see what we jump into next. I believe the I believe Knicks versus Mavericks is the next one. Let's see if this ends up being a close competitive game as we simcast to the fourth quarter. Mavericks holding on to a eight-point lead, but the Knicks are cutting into it. And now it's a four-point game with six and a half to go. So let's check this out. Orlando Blackman makes that shot. 103.97. Mavericks with the lead. Sleepy Floyd passing it to Bernard King. Ewing gets the ball, turns around, makes that bucket, cutting it to four. Barkley with the dunk right there. Barkley, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Misses that free throw though. That's not good. Oh no, I should say. 106.99 though. It's a seven point game. But Wood, Al Wood, drives the lane, makes that bucket. Derek Harper follows that with a bucket of his own. Patrick Ewing against Donaldson. Damn! He dunks that, that shit. I'm going to say shit. I'm just going to say it because whatever. <laughs> Patrick Ewing misses that shot, gets his own rebound, and then dunks that shit again. Man, I... I just turned a, a PG video into a PG-13 video just like that. Mark Aguirre makes that bucket. Bernard King misses that. And Patrick Ewing with another dunk. Free throw falls. And it's 110-108. Mavericks. Mark Aguirre, he gets a bucket to fall. Derek Harper to 
Charles Barkley, oh man. What a dunk right there. What an alley-oop. Here comes Al Wood. Driving the lane, making that shot. Mark Aguirre with a bucket right there. 116 to 110. Sleepy Floyd dribbling. Al Wood driving again. We saw that already, but he, did, he does it once more. He makes that bucket. 116, 112. Derek Harper gets fouled. And that would be it for this game. So the Mavericks would go on to win this game. 119, 114. Lendo Black with 24 points. Mark McGuire with 24. Charles Barkley with 19. Derek Harper with 11 and 10. So Derek Harper really becoming a pretty key piece for this team now. Brad Davis is now on the bench. And Joe Dumars. Joe Dumars is coming. Joe Dumars and the Mavs is, you know, <laughs> it's pretty interesting how that's, how that's developing uh, here's the standings at the end of November. I think the Bullets are 14 and 2. The Bucks are struggling. Bucks are on the struggle bus. Pistons are also struggling. Not too good there. Lakers and Nuggets have the best records in the West so far. Clippers are doing good too. Rockets, Jazz, Suns, Spurs in the mix a little bit. Blazers are struggling. Sonics, Warriors, Kings looking pretty terrible. We are in the beginning of December. But, uh,. Let's check out two more games. Two more games, and then I'll, we'll call it a day. John Stockton making a shot right there. This is uh, Celtics Bullets, the two best teams in the East. Mikhail with with a bucket. John Stockton pulls up for the long two, making it 88-87 with three and a half minutes left to go in the game. Sickding. I think his name is not pronounced Sickding. I'll find out one day. Sickding. Makes that shot. Actually, I'm pretty sure Kevin Harlan says his name correctly, and I'm saying it wrong. So uh, that's pretty dumb of me. Sickting makes the 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 free throw right there. 98 to 88. Block shot. About uh, the Celtics block that shot, and Danny Ainge has the ball. He passes to Robert Parrish. Gets to Kevin McHale with Jeff Ruin on him, and McHale is gonna get this bucket. So. 92-88. John Stockton misses that shot. Dennis Johnson with a rebound. And the Celtics are in transition. Actually, they're slowing it down a little bit. But so let's see. This is a classic. Throw it to Larry Bird in the post. And let him go to work. Sorry, X-Man. Xavier McDaniel, but you just, you're no match for Larry Bird at this point. Threat with the baseline jumper. Again, I'm probably pronouncing his name incorrectly. But it's fine. Larry Bird receives the pass, misses that shot, but draws the foul. And with these free throws, the game is out of reach. The Celtics go on to beat the Washington Bullets. Uh, is there a little more? I guess there's something else that happens in this video. Oh, Robinson dunks it. And then Dennis Johnson does what? Passes it to Robert Parrish. Oh, yeah, he gets fouled. And now the game is over. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Misses those free throws, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not going to matter, guys. Stop trying. <laughs> Give up. It's over, all right? You guys aren't going to win this game, so just shut up. Sarah McDaniel misses that shot. Gets the ball back. Going to try to give it to Stockton for a three. Nope. Ainge with the rebound, and it, I, I was telling you, it was over. It was over. Now it's really over. 98 94 is the final score. Celtics show that they are the true kings of the East, and the Bullets are number two. John Stockton with 25 points and uh, six assists, eight assists. Uh, and that was that. And this is the final game of the video. Like and subscribe uh, because this series is it's off the hook, guys. Mark McGuire makes that shot. We are now watching Mavericks, Rockets, 197. Bucket right there. Cuts the deficit to one. And then Ralph Sampson and the Rockets take the lead right there. Mark McGuire makes his own bucket. And the Mavericks would gain the lead. Derek Carper misses a free throw. It's a two-point game now. Three and a half minutes left to go in the game. The Rockets are in transition. And Gus Williams is handling the ball. He gets to... Akima Lajuman 
He makes that bucket. 103 and 103. Tie game. Derek Harper misses that shot. Mark Aguirre loses the ball. Harper finds it. 105 103. Uh, uh, Ralph Sampson. He's too damn tall. Tie game. Akeem Olajuwon misses that shot. James Allison with the rebound. And now the Mavericks are in transition. And uh oh. Yep. There it goes. Charles Brock with the dunk right there. Tying. Or no. Taking the lead for the Mavericks. Akeem gets his own rebound, makes that shot. Tie game yet again. Real back and forth. There's Joe Dumars passing it to Derek Harper, passing it to James Donaldson. He dunks that stuff. <laughs> Why am I? Why do I choose to sense myself now? Shrimp makes that bucket. Akeem passing it to Gus Williams. Ball finds his way to Shrimp. Gets it to Sampson. And he is going to outwork Barkley to make that bucket. Derek Harper with the ball with seconds left to go. Taking the final shot. He drives. Steps back. Makes that bucket. And it's a tie game going into overtime. That's right. We are ending this video with overtime. An overtime game. Mavericks, Rockets, two heated rivals. You know, I think this rivalry is really starting to become something because they're two very good teams with some really good young players. Rob Sampson makes that bucket there, making it a two-point game. Charles Barkley, the baseline shot, tying the game back up. Real back and forth. Ralph's, Ralph, Ralph Sampson makes that bucket. Barkley. A poor attempt at an alley-oop there leads to a transitional bucket, perhaps. Ralph Sampson. Oh, yeah. I mean, he just towers over everybody. You don't have a chance. You don't have a chance. Barkley is six foot six. Sampson is seven foot four. It's just not fair, guys. It's just not fair. Rodney McCray makes that bucket, and now the Rockets are starting to pull away. Sampson blocks Barkley right there. Oh, man. Oh, man. McCray to Gus Williams. And the Rockets. Let's see what they do here. Gus Williams. What will he decide to do with the ball? It's pretty easy. You give it to Elijah Warner, you give it to Samson. I mean, it's, it's what you do. But Lloyd gets the ball, misses that shot, and Donaldson with the rebound. So that didn't quite work out as they planned it. Mark Aguirre gets that bucket. Cutting it to a four-point deficit. Olajuwon, though, snakes his way, knifes his way, slices his way to the bucket. Back to a six-point game. Mark Aguirre misses that shot. McCray with a rebound. And it's looking pretty grim for the Mavericks in this game. As Gus Williams misses that shot, but Sampson is too damn tall. And that would be the end of this game. He makes that shot. 125-117. Sampson with 39 and... And uh, 18 rebounds. Lodge about 22 and 12. Those Twin Towers, man, they are f something else. Mark Aguirre with 26 points. Derek Harper with 17. Barkley with 13 and 13. And as we look at every team's future draft picks, let me just go on to say thank you for everyone who's been subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me, my little dumb channel where I make overlong videos recounting highlights of 1980s basketball at NBA 2K. It's, uh, it's been a dream of mine <laughs> to do something like this. I, I'm half kidding. But uh, now I've always wanted uh, an NBA 2K game to let us play 80, 80s games, right? So uh, I'm enjoying this series. I hope you are too. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who likes and subscribes this video. And as we get, as I get more subscribers, I have some fun ideas. For example, there are a lot of assistant coaches, trainers, front office people, even some head coaches with generic names. I was thinking if any of my subscribers want to rename any of those coaches, scouts, trainers, front office people, uh, I'd be happy to do that. So if you have a cool name idea, if you want to replace like a trainer's name with your name, so if you say, hey, uh, can... You change the name of the trainer of the 76ers to this name. I will do that, and I will show you the results in one of my off-season videos.
because uh, that's that's when I usually go through the coaches and fire and hire people. So that is definitely something that I'd be willing to do. I'm also thinking about maybe doing some live streams, not of regular season games, because uh, to just give you a little uh, tell you how the sausage is made a little bit. Uh, I capture a lot of regular season games and then I cut it down to the best ones that occurred over the course of, you know, November 1986, for example, in this episode. Um, so that's what I like to do. And I don't think it'd be fun to watch me, uh, <laughs> fun to watch me live stream while I record hours and hours of footage. Uh, I feel like that would get old fast, but I'm thinking like expansion drafts would be fun to live stream. Uh, actual drafts, uh, maybe some playoff games, maybe some the finals games might be a fun live streaming idea to do, stuff like that, or like the slam dunk contest, you know, if you have any ideas about what kind of live stream you'd like to see from me, let me know, but uh, I want to get to 100 subscribers first, at least, before I think about that, but uh, that's the end of this video, thank you very much for watching, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and goodbye.